What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of The Interspot with me, The One Integral. So, today we're using another Mega Team and we have the Hoenn Megas. Mega Evolutions from the Hoenn region. So, obviously there's going to be a few new ones introduced in Auras and some I haven't used before. So, we'll see how well that gets on. We don't know. Um, but yeah, rating as well. Third episode since our account got reset. Don't ask me why I got reset, it just did. So, I think we're... I think we're 2-2 at the moment. I'll see you in a second. Oh uh, yeah, 2-2. So hopefully we can carry I'll, I'll be completely, perfectly happy if we can carry on that. Just 2-2, 3-3, 4-4, 5-5, etc. I'll be completely happy with that. Even though our rating has gone down from the base, who knows why. I'll be happy with that. This guy is... He's got a rating higher than me, and higher than the base. Okay, he's got himself a Salamence, probably Mega, because Mega Salamence is OP. A Magnazone. Azumarill, Swampert, Chestnut, and Gengar. Alright, so as you can see, I brought Sceptile, Mega Sceptile, obviously. Mawile, Mega, Sharpedo, Mega, Camerot, Mega, Altaria, Mega, and Metagross, Mega. Um, I'm going to start off straight away with Metagross in case of that. Salamence, then um, I better take Sceptile in in case the Gengar, in case the Swampert comes in, because obviously Metagross isn't going to have a good time against that. And I'll take in Sharpedo as well in case the Gengar comes. I think that's a fairly good comp there. Who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, we should be okay, I think. I mean, Magnazone, Sceptile can tank a Magnazone unless it's got Hidden Power Fire. Even then it can Mega and get a Dragon type and yeah, pretty much. I think we should be alright, but who knows? We'll find out in a minute. Who knows, who knows, who knows? Let's go! Okay. Toy. This guy's name is Toy. Don't ask me why his name is Toy. Just don't. Just don't, guys. Like, I, I don't. Just no. Just don't. Okay, Toy. Let's do this. You're my boy, Toy. Let's do it. You got your Gengar. Okay, Metagross. I don't resist anything, but I think I have something against him. Do I have something? Uh, as a headbutt, yeah, that's gonna be super effective. Do I want a Mega, though? I don't think I want a Mega. So I'm going to Zen Headbutt here and see what I can do to him. He might switch out, he might stay in, he might just give the Shadow Ball and see if he can take me out with that. That's why I don't really want a Mega, because I'm not going to get the Speed Boost and his Shadow Ball might take me out anyway, so... We'll go for the Zen Headbutt. Hopefully we can take a Shadow Ball from him if he's going to go for it. Um, and then hopefully the Zen Headbutt does enough to take him out, because Gengar's not bulky, so... Hopefully. Hopefully, at least. He's hatched no eggs, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I don't think I've hatched many eggs on Auras anyway, so I can't really say much. I, I've, that's the first time I've noticed the Gengar actually levitates in battle sometimes. It'll, it'll go like, rawr, and fly up in battle. I've never seen that before. I've never noticed it before, really. So, but yeah. Come on, Toy. There we are. He's going to burn me. Okay, that is a good play, actually. Metagross is pretty screwed, so I'm very, very pleased that I didn't Mega, because Mega Metagross would be you know, screwed. And he avoided the attack, really? Luck is not my side today, guys. Luck is not on my side today. Um, I guess I'll just ahead, but again, I mean, he's probably going to switch or just shadow on me now. So, and with that burn, I doubt my Zen headbutt can take him out. And because we didn't hit the last one, we're not going to be able to take him out before he does us, so. That sucks. Thank you very much, Accuracy, for completely and utterly screwing me over. But, I guess we'll find and see and how. Maybe it'll go well, I don't know. Haven't earned any battle points in this game yet. They've earned 1,257. What? What? Yeah, that's Metagross gone. Oh, almost. Am I going to miss it? No, I hit it. Okay. How much damage is it going to do with that burn? Almost took him out. Almost took him out. If we hadn't been burnt, if we'd hit it the first turn, we'd be able to take him out with a bullet punch. Thank you very much, Accuracy, for completely screwing me over. Forge is not a life orbed one, so I have Aqua Jet there on shop. No, I don't, okay. But I can I can protect Mega and boom. Kaboom. There we are. Hello. So we're not gonna Mega the first turn. Everyone knows uh, the Mega Sharpedo. We go protect. Get a speed boost, then we mega up and what's Mega Sharpedo's ability? Oh strong draw, isn't it? Yeah. So Crunch is gonna do a hell of a lot of damage to him. He's going for the attack, it seems. I guess he's gonna will it with me. Um yeah, no, Destiny Bond. You really doing this, you little bitch? You little bitch! I hate Destiny Bond. It's one of my most hated moves in existence. Can I do anything else? I can protect again. Um, oh, I can't attack him, I don't think, because of Destiny Bond. 
I'll go for the double protect, see if I can get another speed boost. Uh, uh, I can never get double protect, he's going for Destiny Bond again. You can fuck right off, sir. You can fuck right off. You can f no, I hate Destiny Bond. It's absolute ass. I'm not having my Sharpie to die. Sceptile, what have you got? Hidden Power, Focus Blast, Gear Drain, Leaf Storm, nothing much there. For God's sake! I'll go Protect again, if he goes Destiny Bond once more, it's gonna really fuck me off. Because it's a really shitty move. I hate it. Protect. So if he actually decides to attack me this turn... No, he's not. Don't know how many PP Destiny Bond has, hopefully it's just five, because then I can keep protecting, keep getting speed boosts, and then I'll screw him up, I don't know. Let's go protect again. He could easily, easily attack me this turn, because uh, my protect's going to fail. He is going to attack me, that means I can attack him next turn. It's going to do a fair bit, but you know, speed boost again. Now I can Mega and sweep through his team, with any luck at least. Mega Evolve, and we're going to go for Crunch, why not? Go for Le Crunch, Sharpedo Knight, the Sharpedo Knight. Here's the Mega Sharpedo, the shiny Mega Sharpedo, actually. Pretty powerful, if you can see it there. It's not. It's like a white gold, actually, the colouring. So Crunch, uh, Destiny Bond should not activate here, because it's not directly after a Destiny Bond, so... You know, it shouldn't take me down with him. It's all good, okay. We're still alive. What's next? If he's got priority, he could probably take the Sharpedo out. But is this thing going to have priority? I very much doubt it. And I can Waterfall, I think. Does uh, Crunch does steer with this dark now? I don't think it does. Uh, I'll Google it quickly. I can't remember. Um, Pokemon Gen 6 does steel resist dark. How long have we got? Can't see. 30 seconds. Steel. Here we go. Okay, Gen 6. Defensive. No, it doesn't resist dark, so I can give a dark. I go for crunch. Ow! I can give, I could have gone for protect for some more. Uh, actually, I don't get speed boost anymore, do I? Yeah, uh, it's not going to take him out, is it? No. Volt Switch is going to kill me. Ah, uh, you don't have the damage, Sharpedo. You don't have the damage. Sharpedo has the speed, but not the damage, and Magnuson is too tanky. But that's alright, Volt Switch isn't too bad because my Mega Sceptile has Lightning Rod. So as long as they don't have Hidden Power Fire, we should be alright with Sceptile against Metagross. And the last Pokemon is a Salamence. Yeah, we're fucked. Salamence can... Salamence is a twat, okay, basically. So yeah, we're not winning this. Because um, I can't even Mega, you see. <laughs> so what was I saying about Mega just now? I don't know why. I'm going to Hidden Power. I think it... I don't know what it is at all. Am I faster? Mm, he's going to Mega, obviously, because Mega Salamence is Ubers, so it's completely overpowered. So, and it's going to be, is it going to be faster than me or am I faster? I'm faster still. Come on, four times effective Ice Hidden Power, go! Nope, nothing. He's going to Dragon Dance, so now he's faster than me, most likely, especially with the speed boost from the Mega. I think Salamence gets a boost in speed on the Megas, I don't know. I don't play competitive, guys, you don't, you know I don't. Um, so, Hidden Power again is all we got. It is all we've got. There's Facade, even though he's not poisoned or anything. And that's me gone, because it's four, no, two does effective. Because of his lovely Aerial Age. So, we had no chance there, really. With Gengar's Destiny Bond. I hate Destiny Bond so much. If he didn't have Destiny Bond, I wouldn't have lost half health from uh, his Shadow Ball. Then... Maybe I could have survived Magnusone's Volt Switch, who knows? Or maybe I wouldn't have been able to use Ice Fang on Salamence, because I would have been faster. I don't know. Anyway, we'll go for again, and we'll see if we can win this next one, of course. Hopefully we can. Who knows? Battle Box, let's go. So we didn't use Camera at Moan or Altaria, so hopefully we can use them now. Who knows? Who knows indeed? Okay, so our rating's gone down, lovely, 1479, but... What can you do? In, uh, into spot, battle spot is is it's always you know it's luck half the time because it depends what you choose, depends what they choose from your six. But this person has a very high rating and they've got Gardevoir, a Mega Kangaskhan, a possible Mega Garchomp, Aegis Slash, Breloom, and Rotom. So yeah, I'm guessing it's Mega Kangaskhan at least because it's there. So uh, so I might take in Metagross again to deal with the Mega Kangaskhan. 
Actually, no, wait, I have Earthquake, which is going to bot me out, so it's not going to help at all there. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to start off with Altaria, then I'm going to take him a while, and I'll finish up with Metagross. Don't ask me why. Actually, no, wait, screw this. I'll take Camera up to him. Don't ask me, guys. I just chose the other three I didn't use, so. I think whatever we choose here, it's not going to go very well. Because the fact that Mega Kung's gone, it can pretty much take anyone out of my team because it's got Earthquake for Metagross in a while and everything else it gets normal stab on. Um, yeah, it's not much chance really for us. Not much chance at all. Oh well, we'll see how we go. We shall see how we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, why do you take so long? I wonder if they, they, yeah, just let them not pick and we'll win. That works for me. That works for me in DDOs, but we'll see. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 4, 3, 2. Oh my god. Oh, take so long. Why you do you do this? Yeah, if they didn't choose their Pokemon, we're just gonna take it as a win. No joke. Nah, come on, you. There we are. Finally, took your time. Okay. I'm gonna lose this, I know, but pff, we'll see how we go. If they bring the Mega Kangas gun, they can pretty much wipe for the whole team. So, and there ain't much you can do to stop it. What you got for me, May? Age of Slash. I think Altera has Fire Blast, so I could stay normal. Right, so we don't have any. Yeah. So I'm not gonna Mega because I'll become a Fairy type and then I'll be weak to their Steel type moves. So I'll stay like this. And I can Fire Blast. How much damage is it gonna do, I wonder? Just under half. Oh, the burn! Yes, the burn pulled through! And there's a stance change. They're gonna do some damage to me, but not as much. Yes, he told you there's a steel type move. A shoot ball. You know, possibly thinking I was gonna mega. It still almost takes me out. So they can shadow sneak me next turn and pop, probably take me out there. And there's not much I can do at this point. I can try a fire blast again to take them out if shadow sneak doesn't kill me, but it's very likely to kill me. I mean, burn might allow me to survive. No, they're gonna switch out. Okay. To whom? Who is going to take a Fire Blast in the face? Oh, the Rotom Wash, that makes a little sense. Pow, and... Yeah, it's going to do no damage. No damage at all. At least we know the Age Slash is pretty much useless now. Uh, I can't do anything against this Rotom, so it might just be best to sack off Altera at this point rather than switching out. I might uh, I'll go for Draco Meteor. Screw it with as much damage as we can. Draco Meteor! Let's do it, Rotom. Let's get all the damage we can off against you since we're going to die. Pow! Not much because Rotom's pretty specially defensive. And there's my attack drops. They have a Citrus Berry. I hate Rotom Washman. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. There's the Thunderbolt and that is Altaria gone. Neutral. A neutral. Okay, who do we send out to deal with this Rotom Wash? We have Mawile or Camerupt. We have so Mawile. What am I saying, man? I thought I had Mawile and Metagross, but then I remembered uh, I changed it. So. Okay, Mawile, what do you want to do? We could sword stance and try and screw him up. Do you want a Mega? Um, I don't think we really need Mega Camera up since Age of Slash is pretty much out of the way already. So I'm going to Mega and I'm going to sword stance. Uh, they got Will O Wisp, haven't they? They're going to have Will O Wisp and they're going to be faster than me. I could switch out to Camera up to this point. What's its ability? Solid Rock. Um, screw it, I'm going to double switch. Because they're going to use Will-O-Wisp and try and burn me, but they can't because I'm a Camerupt. So yeah. Here is Le Camerupt. Pow. Of course they can also just, you know, normally attack me. Avoid the attack anyway, brilliant. Um, they can, you know, attack me with just Hydro Pump and that will pretty much take me out anyway, so. But I'm going to Hidden Power at this point. See, I don't know what my Hidden Power is, but we'll go for it. They're going to Hydro Pump and take me out in one turn, so either way it's a loss. I couldn't stay in and take a Widow Wisp on my while, and I couldn't, uh, I can't really switch out, or you know, I have switched out to Camera Ups, and it's just going to take me out of Hydro Pump. This is why I hate Rotom Wash, because it's got Will O' Wisp, it's got a Hydro Pump, it's got a Volt Switch, slash Thunderbolt. There's the Hydro Pump, that's, pff, actually no, we're reducing the damage thanks to Solid Rock, so hopefully we can take it. Nope! Fucking nope! Okay, it's four times effect at that is point, so. 
Yeah. Yeah, we can't win this. I told you that. I told you guys we couldn't win it. I told you. They've probably got Congress going in the back anyway, so... All I can do with my while is sword, um, Mega Evolve, Swords Dance, and then hopefully, you know, just sort of kill the team before the burn kills me, basically. Which isn't going to happen because Age of Slash is going to carry King Shield, so it can storm me out that way. Um, there's the Will-O-Wisp, told ya. I told ya. Thankfully, the Swords Dance is going to counter the Will-O-Wisp. Um, and I have huge power as well, which is going to double my attack anyway. Now it's a case of, yeah, killing them before the burn comes. I don't think I can take them out in one turn, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to play rough anyway. Screw it. Are they going to switch or are they going to stay in? Or are they might, yeah, I think they might just find a bolt, if anything. Or maybe Hydro Pump, to be honest. Since that does more damage. I've evolved 31 Pokemon. Go me. Go me. And they've evolved 47. I'm, I'm slacking, guys. I am slacking indeed. And your Vigo off. Ba ba puns! Yep, there's a Thunderbolt there. It won't kill me, but it'll still do decent damage. Uh, means I've got like two turns left, basically. And that's, you know, assuming I can, you know, get, to, get attacks off first. 38 down, 23, so I took 15 damage. So yeah, I got one attack, and then take more damage, and then another attack, take more damage. If they send out Age Slash, I can probably kill that thing, yeah. Um, it's going to King Shield though. I can Sucker Punch it. So if it actually does attack me, I can take it out. Kapow! It should go down. Yes, it did. It's just stalling me out at this point now. That's what they're doing. Because now I'm left with 8 health points. And it's probably the Kangaskhan coming out. It is most probably the Kangaskhan coming out. If it wasn't burnt, yeah, it'd be an easy game, easy life. Yep, it's Kangaskhan, told you guys. Just watch it mega. Just, you know, watch it, guys. Am I going to be faster than Kangaskhan or not? I very much doubt it. Let me check the speed stats. In a while. Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan is one of the most... One of the hardest names to spell in terms of Pokemon names. Uh, 50 speed is mega, and they have... 90, yeah, they're fast, so I need to suck a bunch. There's the Mega Kangaskhan. I told you, I called it the second we saw the Kangaskhan. I called it, boys and girls. And they have, they're probably going to power up punch or earthquake or anything or sucker punch. I sucker punched. Boom. Is it going to kill him? No, of course it's not. They're bulky as well. They have double attacks. They can raise their attack twice in one turn thanks to power up punch. And they're bulky as well. We can't do anything. But yeah. Ah, two losses, guys. It's not going well, is it? <laughs> anyway. As I said, you know, what could we do there? One of the downsides to having a team of Megas, we can't really do much because we haven't got any extra items. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this episode of the Interspot, enjoyed watching me lose some more, let me know down below because that'd be awesome. And of course, suggest some more team themes for future episodes as well. That would be cool as well. But for now, this is going to be it for me for today. I shall be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.